Hello, my name is Emily Lacey Brown, but I go by Lacey, and this is my capstone presentation for my iTech 7500 course. I am getting my master's in education and in instructional technology at Kennesaw State University, and the title of my capstone project is Using Data from Formative Assessments in the Math Classroom. I currently teach at Autry Mill Middle School, also known as AMMS, which is located in Johns Creek in Fulton County. I'm a sixth grade math teacher, and I, this is my 10th year teaching. Fulton County and Autry Mill as well is one-to-one -one with devices, so all of our students have school-issued devices. Um, they either have a Dell laptop or a ThinkPad. A little background on Autry Mill Middle School. Overall, the school is a pretty high achieving school. Our students are high achievers, they do well. Our milestone scores are typically pretty high. Um, so that comes into play a little bit when we're talking about the needs on the next slide. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, students at Autry Mill Middle School have shown a disruption in their learning. The abrupt shift to virtual learning left students with a noticeable achievement gap. Students who were considered on level were testing below grade level on their math iReady diagnostic. This was alarming for our school. I decided that administering frequent formative assessments to assess students' current understanding could help math teachers identify needs, fill gaps, and accelerate students' learning back to on or above grade level. For my project, I trained teachers in my Mac PLC how to utilize Microsoft Forms to create pretests and check-ins, basically formative assessments. Using this technology to assess students' current levels gave quick feedback and allowed for teachers to make informed decisions on student learning. There were two types of formative assessments given, as I said, one was a pretest. The pretests were used to assess students' current understanding of a topic before learning it. Students' scores would place them in differentiated groups for learning. Students who showed mastery with the pretest could skip a lesson and work on more in-depth activities or extend their learning, and students who did not show mastery would be taught the information necessary and then work on showing mastery. The second type was a check-in. Check-ins were given to assess students' learnings based on a lesson that had already been taught and practiced. If a students were struggling on the check-ins, teachers could remediate and pull small groups when necessary. This frequent and immediate data collection allowed teachers to remediate, reteach, and extend learning often. Here are my capstone goals. First, 75% of sixth grade math PLC will use formative assessment at least once every two weeks to assess student understanding prior to a lesson by February 2022. Next, 75% of sixth grade math PLC will use formative assessments at least once every two weeks to assess student learning after a lesson is taught by February 2022. The first two goals look very similar, but if you look closely, the first goal is, is talking about assessing student prior to a lesson, and the second goal is talking about assessing students after a lesson. So the first one is more for differentiation for a lesson, and the second one is for remediating, pulling small groups, and closing those gaps with our students. The third goal is 75% of sixth grade math PLC will utilize just technology for formative assessments to collect data at least once a week. So this is a very general broad goal about using technology to get that quick feedback from our students. And then the last goal, at least 75% of our math students will be performing at or above grade level by April 2022. So this goal is just to see that increase in our student achievement by doing this process. To evaluate the plan, I made sure teachers were meeting goals by analyzing lesson plans and observing them teach in their classrooms. Classroom observations showed to be the most helpful as I could give feedback to teachers quickly and assist them as needed. In addition, I compared iReady diagnostic data from September 2021 to May 2022. 
I was specifically looking at students who were testing below grade level previously and how they had grown since the implementing implementation of frequent assessments to check for understanding. I looked at student growth and stretch growth to see how they were doing. Upon looking at the results, we noticed that student scores rose and gaps were closing. Now we're going to talk about my specific capstone experience. As soon as we came back from winter break, I started implementing my capstone project. Because my PLC meets weekly, it made it easy to do so, and most of the sessions were done during that time. I first asked them questions to get an understanding of how often they actually use data in the math classroom to inform their instruction. And I noticed that it wasn't happening very often. Once I got a baseline, I started planning on how to teach them about Microsoft Forms and all of its useful functions. I hosted a session on how we can use data to inform instruction and differentiate learning, along with the benefits of doing so. I also talked about how to use data to remediate and to pull small groups to reteach. After this session, I invited them to walk into my classroom to watch how I used forms to group students um, into learning groups. This part of the implementation was useful as it helped them really see what it could look like in their own class. Once they observed me, they began implementing the process on their own. Throughout the semester, there were, they were able to discuss how they used the data, how it was beneficial, and I was able to observe them implement it in their own rooms as well. I hosted a few additional sessions for some teachers who needed support with how to use forms. For example, one teacher couldn't see the names of students who were submitting their work, which made it difficult to pull groups. She just needed to adjust a setting. Overall, this experience was a positive one and one that has changed how my PLC uses data. It's allowed my math PLC to see how quickly and easy it can be to use class time to collect data, pull groups, and make informed decisions to help student success. We saw growth in our students' learning and were able to reteach, remediate, and extend more frequently than if we had not used this in our classroom at all. I learned how great it feels to support my peers and to show them strategies to use to better help our students. We all grew closer as a team because we had a common goal that we were working towards that supported our students. It was a great experience and we will continue to use and implement these strategies in the future together. Below is the copyright acknowledgements for my capstone project. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.